While the last couple of Guam Basketball Association seasons have been full of growing pains for the UOG Tritons, the team is making strides this year in the GBA. UOG already has three wins. That's more wins than their last two GBA seasons combined. The team has been the poster child for the reinstatement of UOG's athletics program, but it hasn't been easy. After losing star player Darren Hechenova in season two, the Tritons endured their second winless season in a row. Uh, key pickups for season three include power forward Desden Fikes and Ryan Ngauta. Fikes has helped the Tritons turn it around this season, knocking down mid-range shots and bodying up under the basket. Nagauta can penetrate, driving and slicing his way to the hole. He takes a lot of shots and he's averaged 19 points per game of the Tritons' three wins this year, including 17 and 21 points in Yoji's upset wins over the auto spot Phoenix. Nagauta also nailed the buzzer-beating winning shot in Yoji's clutch win over MacTech on Triton night. AJ Carlos has emerged as the de facto team leader, one of the Tritons who has been there since day one. He is the floor general for UOG. Now, since Tritons have to be full-time students at the university, the team doesn't have the freedom to go out and get the big guys like other GBA teams. We got to compete on the defensive end because we're undersized. We're trying to play for all four quarters instead of just little spurs of quarters. The Tritons also get help from Rafi Sablon and Mark Tandok, two shooters who can knock down the occasional three-pointer. Guard Jorge Piolo is a valuable six-man and product of Guam's junior national basketball program, and he explains why we've seen the Tritons win some games this year. Last season was very difficult for us because there's a bunch of new people. We didn't really have that much playing time together, and now that this is our second time playing with this group of people, um, we've been able to progress and get better. We're trying to actually win games and make it to the championship. Um, hopefully this season will be our season to make it there. While it's a long shot for the Tritons to make the championship, Carlos remains optimistic. The only way we're going to get through everything is as a team, and if we stick to that, then we can do anything is possible. Double I, double AG boys high school volleyball. The father, Duaneus Friars, continue to make a run to this year's championship game after picking up a win over JFK in quarterfinal action over at the Phoenix Center. The Friars picking up the three-set win, 25-10, 25-22, and 25-16. FD dominating the first set with stellar play up front, stuffing shots at the net by the Islanders. JFK turned the tables in the second set, leading 13-9. Bad serves came back to haunt the Islanders as FD slowly crept back and tied the set 20-20. Aiden McDonald put the Friars up 23-22 with a big kill. An Islander serve out of bounds gave the set to FD 25-22. Now in the third set, the home team Friars jumped out to a 13-7 lead. Aiden McDonald recorded five kills as FD cruised to the third set win, 25-16. FD will next face the Teton High Titans in semifinals play. Winner moves on to the title game to play the winner between Harvest and Ukadu.